where your eyes go, your head and muscles in the back of your head and neck go. And that's what the subject of this video is. So stay tuned. <laughs> Dr. Shakib here from Irvine Spinal Wellness Center, your Irvine Chiropractic and Posture Clinic. One of the things that I, I actually find from my patients, thanks to my patients, which is the inspiration for this video, have to do with when they're watching TV and sitting on really comfortable chairs at their home, a recliner. So this actually shocked me when my patients tell me, so let's pretend this is a recliner and that he was like this, like I'm looking at you, so put the glasses down, and he was just trying to see it from up here and just trying to supposedly relax the back of the neck muscles. Well, it really doesn't relax it. What ends up happening is a recliner in general, when this the back part of your chair is so far up, it takes away your ability of your head to bob back and forth, which you do all the time, even when you're talking, you have that little movement. Well, that takes away the backward function of your head to begin with. And when you're reclining your chair and you're really tilting your head down to see whatever it is that you're seeing, you're really hyperactivating these muscles back here which are called suboccipitals. And they're really one of the major role players of tension headache. So remember where your eyes go, your head goes. And where your head goes, the top portion of your neck muscles go before everything else comes into play. The little things you do throughout the day make a huge difference in the load of unnecessary tension you put um, on the different muscles in your body. So be more attentive to how you do things. Understand the concept and pay attention and don't be overwhelmed with how much you need to know. Really, once you understand it, it's a simple thing that you can um, do automatically, like blinking your eyes. You don't think about it, you just automatically do. To learn more about functional movement and postural neurology, make sure you visit my website. The information is in the description box below. And make sure you send me your questions. And I hope to see you at the office. Until next time, take care.